Welcome to the Summit City, home to the two six O's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. I just want to be the best in basketball, so uh, I want to be the greatest of all time to play women's basketball. So uh, I just know there's people out there working just as much as me, so I just want to keep working hard and keep that intensity going. And so one day I can pursue my dreams of being in the WNBA and playing overseas. So I just want bigger things to come in my life. I remember when I started in March, she could do zero pull-ups. She did have a great 25-inch vertical when she first started. Uh, she only weighed 150 pounds. Uh, one of our main mottos is do the simple things exceedingly well, and that's where we started. So we started the foundation, um, building her base, and now we've got to basically the peak of our pyramid of things that we can do with her. So uh, we didn't skip any levels, we did all the basics, and she got really, really good at them, and that's what's led her to become as great as she is at, at basketball and performance. I've watched her grow. Uh, the confidence-wise, the strength-wise, the jumping ability, her footwork, it's, it's really amazing to kind of watch for a girl her size, being 6'3", 6'4", to move like she can move and do the thing and be as agile as she is along with the strip. Thank you for watching Summit City Sports. To help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account. We produce weekly highlights and live video broadcast. When the Homestead Girls Golf Team won its first state title in program history, we were there. When Fort Wayne brought back three state titles in cross country, we were there. We believe in sharing positive stories and setting the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today. At the University of St. Francis, you'll find everything you need to succeed from business, nursing and science to the arts, all with a 99% career success rate. You belong here. 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 I belong here. has always been here, um, you know, and they're getting better. Um, you know, I'm watching, you know, uh, Summit City Sports, man, they're doing an awesome job. And, I mean, that's a plug. Them dudes are, are doing an outstanding job. And I'm able to be in Nashville and watch games uh, on YouTube um, that they're broadcasting, and I'm seeing the talent. And it is just truly outstanding. And, I mean, you guys have seen uh, the talent that's in the NFL now from Fort Wayne, Indiana, the talent that's coming up now and the talent that, you know, is, 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 is just here, man. It's just it's really, it's really cool. I like to stay active. I try to come in here at least three times a week and just get my one hour workout in. Since September, I think I've put on 22 pounds of muscle. I think my vertical has gone up plus five inches. I've gotten a lot faster since then too. I can hit the ball further. In football, I can push people around more. It's basketball easier too. Just being stronger just makes everything easier. Brandon started with Jim Rath's basketball training. After one of the sessions, he came up to me and he wanted to know if he could do more. So Brandon started the EDGE program in November in addition to the club training he was doing because it offers personalized programming for his athletic goals. PSM Performance uses a long-term athletic development pyramid. At such a young age, it's really good for Brandon to set the foundation of athletic development. Since he is in season all year round, he has to be ready for all the physical demands. So he does a lot more strength training just because in basketball he sprints and cuts a lot. In baseball he's doing a lot of sprinting. In football he does a lot of sprinting and jumping. So preparing him to withstand the physical demands of those games, he does a lot more strength training. I like all the lower body stuff the best. I do goblet squats, split squats, back squat, front squat, a lot of those. Tyler knows what's best for me. He always points me in the right direction. He just pushes me to go harder every day. 
In four years, this this could be you. you. At the University of St. Francis, you'll find everything you need to succeed, from business, nursing and science, to the arts. You belong here! Area sports looked a lot different back in 1952 when Jim Kelly opened his first dealership in Fort Wayne. 70 years later, that original dealership has grown into the Kelly Automotive Group with 14 brands in three locations, including our new Fort Wayne Auto Mall and Kelly Chevrolet on Lima Road. Fort Wayne continues to support our local teams and businesses. Thank you for 70 years. We could have never done it without you. Visit us today at drivekelly.com. Anderson Heating and Air, locally owned and operated with over 50 years of experience. Call us today and get a free quote on a brand new furnace and AC, financed and available. Don't wait. Call us today and sign up for a maintenance agreement and stay cool. Our maintenance agreements will ensure that you're first in line if you have an emergency and we'll send one of our service techs out for cleanings twice a year. Call us at 557-0958 or request an appointment on our website. Call Anderson Heating and Air, where your emergency is our emergency. It's rivalry week on the football field in the SAC this weekend, and a rivalry is renewed tonight at the Fieldhouse and Carroll High School. The Chargers at 20 and five on the season, hosting the Homestead Spartans. Sparty 19 and six overall. Both sides looking for a key win as we get closer to sectional season. Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Fieldhouse Carroll High School as the 20 and five Chargers play host to the 19 and six Spartans. I'm Jared Matheny. Glad you're with us here on Summit City Sports. Well, Carroll has had a fun week on their home court and it comes to an end uh, kind of tonight in at least in full match play. We'll see a tournament this weekend, but the Chargers will wrap up this busy week against teams in the SAC with senior night tonight. Three seniors for the Carroll Chargers were recognized before we got our match started or before we got pregame warm-up started here tonight. The Chargers taking on the Spartans and something pretty cool that I, I don't know that I've ever seen before. Uh, the Carroll three seniors had flowers for the six seniors on the other side for Homestead. So they actually did a little bit of a recognition for both Carroll and Homestead seniors here tonight at Carroll High School. And maybe that doesn't truly speak to uh, what this rivalry really is. You walk outside in the halls here at Carroll High School this week, every H on the hall has been marked off with an X, similar to that Ohio State and Michigan uh, rivalry week battle. And they take it seriously and they'll settle it on the gridiron tomorrow night. But we're on the volleyball court tonight with Carroll facing off against Homestead. This is actually the second matchup of the year between these two sides. Homestead prevailing over Carroll in three sets in a neutral site tournament at Penn earlier this season. Uh, this match was back uh, in August, early portion of the year. But Homestead was 2-1 to one victorious in three sets over Carroll. Chargers got the opening set 25-16, but Homestead in overtime wins set two, 28-26. And then set three goes the way of the Spartans, 15-12 for Homestead to get the win uh, at the Penn Tournament. Again, that was all the way back in August. And Carroll certainly it hasn't been the main thing on the mind of the Chargers since that moment, but they've certainly been thinking about this matchup with Carroll since then. Back on August 19th was the last time these two sides faced off. And, and now we get it for real inside a home gymnasium for Carroll and, and that road environment for Homestead on the other side. Bailey Sinish had 15 kills in that loss for Carroll, hitting 278 for the match. Chloe Hirschberger hit 333 for the Chargers to go along with seven kills. On the other side, Homestead, Addie Tyndall with 12 kills. Hit just 194, but a big match from Hannah Brown, the senior, who hit 444 for Homestead in the last matchup against Carroll. Daly Mailer also had seven kills for the Spartans. Serving department, pretty even across the board. Uh, three service aces, three errors for Carroll, two service aces for Homestead. They did have six service errors uh, in the match. Blocking up front, Isabel Lubia had a couple of solo blocks for Homestead, and, and that really kind of told the story. It was back and forth and a solid match between two solid programs. They get to face off once again 
here tonight. Carroll in the midst of a nice little winning streak after losing in five sets to both Yorktown and Westfield this past weekend. We saw Carroll at home Monday night, got a four set win over Concordia. Cadets won the opening set and then Carroll uh, proceeded to win the next three, three to one over the Cadets. And then on Tuesday night against Blackhawk Christian, it was a straight set sweep for Carroll here at home. Let's take a look and a deeper dive into those numbers and the win over Blackhawk Christian for the Chargers. Bailey Sinish, 15 kills, seven kills for the freshman Sarah Stiegel and Chloe Hirschberger also had seven kills. Ali Boyer uh, led the way for Blackhawk Christian with six kills in the match and Abby Cressy had two kills for Blackhawk Christian. Uh, Carroll dominating 25-11, 25-5 and 25-18 for the Chargers in the victory over Blackhawk Christian. And now they get the Homestead Spartans here on the home floor tonight for senior night and the rivalry between these two really storied programs uh, comes to fruition once again tonight inside the field house. While we have a moment, let's take this time to thank our great sponsors who make tonight's and every night's broadcast possible here on Summit City Sports. Big Eyed Fish has been around the Northeast Indiana area for generations. Like their Facebook pages for updated promotions, enjoy the best fish in Fort Wayne in a family-friendly environment at Big Eyed Fish. Kelly Automotive celebrating their 70th year in business. Shop all 14 of their brands at kellydrive.com. Top Steel Tire has been servicing the Fort Wayne area for over 40 years. They'll help you find the perfect tire for your vehicle and other auto repair services like brakes, wheel alignments, engine diagnostics, and more. At Ottenweller Contracting, we invest in our customers by providing peace of mind during the entire process. From bid to build, visit OttenwellerContracting.com. Summit Volleyball trains and builds the highest quality volleyball players in the area. From ages 5 to 18, our players are equipped with elite level skills and a foundation of life skills. Jump on board. Together, we can reach the summit. Anderson Heating and Air Conditioning is dedicated to providing the best possible solution for your home or business, a system and solution that fits your unique needs. Visit AndersonCoolHeat.com. Are you ready to do what it takes to put your past behind you? Whether it's expunging your criminal record or helping to get your driver's license reinstated, Jolly Law Firm is your answer. Sioka Cleaning and Restoration, providing top-notch commercial cleaning services, including janitorial, water damage, and state-of-the-art disinfecting services throughout Northeast Indiana. Online degree programs at the University of St. Francis are built for convenience and flexibility. Most degrees can be completed within 12 months. Visit online.sf.edu. Specialist in design, build mechanical and refrigeration. TJWindustrial.com. That's TJWindustrial.com. And earn your edge this season. Parkview Sports Medicine's edge training program maximizes your athleticism through personalized performance training to reach your goals and get you to the next level. Visit parkviewsportsmedicine.com slash edge to schedule your free consultation. We are live tonight here on Summit City Sports. Big thanks to Eric Cosmer running our camera for this evening before he hits the road and Indiana Tech men's hockey hits the road. Uh, he'll be Friday and Saturday on the road. I believe Lawrence Tech is the matchup for Indiana Tech. Big thanks to Eric for being here tonight. You can find us on Summit City Sports on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We're also on TikTok. If you're looking on your favorite social media app, you can probably find us here on Summit City Sports. 19 and six Homestead, 20 and five Carroll. The rivalry renewed on the hardwood tonight in a volleyball matchup between two of the top teams in the 2-6-0 as Sparty has just exited their tunnel on the southwest side of the field house. Chargers will look for a win here on senior night. The three seniors for Carroll. Maggie DeTurk wears the number three. Brenna Gender will wear the libero jersey tonight. The blue jersey she donned this evening with a number five on her back. And then Olivia Gislin, who was our Parkview Sports Medicine player of the match on Monday night. Uh, we'll see and, and talk about Gislin a lot here this evening, especially when it comes to the running of this Carroll offense. She is the center and 
as you know, sort of the setter goes, everybody else goes. Her main target will be Bailey Sinish, the sophomore wearing number four, 334 kills this year for Sinish. She's up to four and a half kills per set. On the other side, we've also got somebody sitting at four and a half kills or just under that marker per set this season. Addie Tyndall, the junior, 282 kills on the year. She's played though in seven less sets then Sinish on the other side. Taylor Mailer with 120 kills for Homestead and then 87 for Hannah Brown. So the Chargers will get that, try to get that offense moving early here tonight. Homestead at 19 and six, lost in straight sets at Concordia to open up the season, then went on a nice winning streak before back-to-back -back losses to Dwanger and Belmont. Homestead also lost to Angola, Hamilton Southeastern, which they're the top team in the state, and Angola the top team in 3A, Crown Point, but back-to-back -back wins for Sparty this week over Southside and Northrop in straight sets. And now Homestead gets Carroll here on the road tonight, and rivalry week continues on Summit City Sports. Let's turn it over to our public address announcer. We'll get our starting rotations and the introductions for both sides. We'll have our national anthem. And then first serve here from the field house, Carroll and Homestead. And for the second time this year, Chargers looking for some revenge here on their home floor tonight. Lauren Snyder, and Alabama number two, Madeline Stegg. 
And just like that, we are ready for volleyball here tonight at Carroll High School and from the Charger Fieldhouse. Again, Jaron Matheny, glad you're with us on Summit City Sports. It is senior night here for the Chargers and really just good display of sportsmanship for all the seniors out here. The Carroll seniors honored the Homestead seniors with flowers and then Homestead did the same thing back to Carroll as we got ready for starting rotations tonight. So. Uh, both these sides may be rivals, but a lot of these girls play together when it's not in school season. They know each other very well. So a fun matchup here tonight between Carroll and Homestead. Chargers 20 and five, Spartans 19 and six, but Homestead got the better of Carroll in the lone meeting so far this year. That was a two to one win for Homestead at Penn. Uh, back on August 19th in one of those long tournament days for both Homestead and Carroll. So different feel here tonight, certainly, with somebody actually being on their home floor and first and foremost, but uh, with the senior night festivities and that, I don't know if pressure, but added something brings us to this matchup in a big one as you try to get right before the sectional season gets underway. The pairing show is set for this Sunday and then games this weekend and next week and then it'll be sectional time and everybody will be wanting to play their best best volleyball of the year starting right about now and hoping that it steamrolls into a long postseason run for both Homestead and Carroll. So the Chargers, Lauren Peters serves to get us underway here tonight. Best of five, not best of three. And we're off and running from the field house. Jackway sets Tyndall on the soft drop. Gislin for Sinish, her attack nearly fell through. Tyndall pushes towards the back corner and out. It's a point for Carroll and the Chargers are on the board here in the opening set. Out in front of Sparty. Peters back at the service line. Jump serve is in, and a service ace on the first two points for Carroll. Chargers out in front, two to zip. In the opening set, there's our first service ace of the evening for Carroll. Keep track of those on both sides of the net. As that serve from Peters goes long, Coach Sinish for the Chargers, Coach Holtzclaw on the other side for Homestead. And both of them know what it means to get a win over your rival here on the volleyball court before football tomorrow. Lubia jump serve, Gislin on the run, sets far side, Sinish cross court kill is down and a point for Carroll. It's Bailey Sinish has her first kill. Chargers three, Homestead one. And Sinish, more than 300 of those coming in to match play tonight. That was 335 on the year. Brenna Ginder, service ace, point chargers. Good start for Carroll and the seniors here tonight. Ginder set to serve once again. Jump serve is in. Jackway sets Tyndall near side, drops the hammer. Tyndall with a kill. It's Addie Tyndall's first kill, point Homestead. Make it four to two. Peters on the first touch, Gislin goes over on touch two, really didn't have another choice. Tyndall swings, popped up by Ginder, right back over to Homestead. Sipe on the first look, Jackway back sets Mailer into the back row. Now Gislin setting up Sassy. Tyndall, nice swing. Longest rally here of this match so far. Sinish blocked. Carroll, another chance. Sinish again. Soft tap is in. Point chargers. Sinish kill number two, and you can feel the energy inside this place. They do have the bleachers all the way out at the top as well, expecting a bigger crowd. And it's not quite that big, but still, the bottom bowl is filled on both sides here tonight. Olivia Gislin, jump serve, Sipe first touch. Tyndall swing, Peters dug it out, and Gislin attacks. Sipe setting, Tyndall 
can't drop it in. Peters skies it, Gislin back set. First look for Hershberger is blocked. And no whistle blew there, but it's gonna be a point for Homestead. It would have been a lift from the Chargers. Possibly two touches as well. Let's see if that Homestead block can have a party on the road. Seen them be really effective at times this year. Gislin down the middle, Sinish off the top of the hands of the blockers and in. Three out of the first six points for Carroll belong to Bailey Sinish and nothing different here for the Chargers and the Stars sophomore. As Peters comes off the floor, Stiegel, the freshman, is in. Nice serve from Sinish. Brown got the first look at it. Tyndall attack is down. And it should be a good back and forth between those two. 15 for Homestead, four for Carroll. Keep your eyes on those two all night long. Tyndall for Homestead in the back row. It's Sipe on the jump serve. Ginder, Gislin, back row attack for Sinish. Blocked right back to Carroll. Hirschberger, second swing. Lubia and Brown both there on the block. It's Tyndall from the back row, too far. Spartans looking for a touch, won't get it. Point Carroll, 7-4 Chargers, first set lead for the home team on senior night. Now Hayden Finfrock. Finfrock, 27 aces coming into play tonight. Jackway for Lubia, good one-two set. Carroll scrambles, Stiegel swing off the tape. Back row for Tyndall. Now the Chargers look. Gislin, left side, Stiegel, hard swing, blocked in. Point Homestead. Spartans on the block, make it seven to five. Mailer jump serve, hits the tape. Point for Carroll, let's take a look back though at that previous block for Homestead. Stiegel's swing just blocked out. Eight to five Chargers. Hirschberger, service ace. Carroll's rolling from the service line early on. Three aces for the Chargers already. That matches the total that Carroll had in the first three set match against the Spartans. Nine to five in the first. Sipe first look at it, Jackway at the net, Stiegel tapped it down, it is a point for Carroll. Stiegel comes over the top, gets the kill, 10 to five. Chargers in front. Hirschberger, serve is in at Brown, comes back over, Stiegel tries to bat it down, Sipe clears, near side swing. That's Brown on the attack, came back over. Lubia off the slide, got the touch point, Homestead. Lubia's first kill. Looked like it was Land actually in the back row that got the first touch for Homestead and then Brown on the attack. It is Hannah Brown, the senior, back to serve for the Spartans. Off serve at Ginder, Gislin sets wide, Stiegel, hard swing back over to Carroll and then just missed wide for Addie Shippey. 10-7, back-to-back points for Homestead. Brown, another strong serve, Gislin in the middle, Shippey this time plants it in. Her first, Chargers 11, Spartan seven, opening set of play. Lauren Peters back to the start of our serving rotation. Brown on the first touch, Jackway sets up Luvia, soft tap over. Sinish, rocket, cross court and in. Bailey Sinish, big time kill. She's already got four, Carroll leads 12 to seven. And 
Credit Brenna Ginder there for getting that ball back up in the air for Sinish to attack. Peter Strong serve, long run for Jack Way. Back row and doesn't make it over on the attack from Brown. 13 to seven, Carroll. Let's go back to that kill for Bailey Sinish as the Spartans call a timeout. There's Ginder on the initial save. And then Sinish, good angle inside the antenna. Point Chargers. And it is 13 to seven. Carroll in front of Homestead here in the opening set from the Charger Fieldhouse. We'll keep it right here. It's the first time out taken. Four early kills for Bailey Sinish and three service aces in addition for Carroll. Have the Chargers in a groove in the early going here tonight on their home floor. Homestead, Eddie Tyndall, two kills. And then a couple of attack errors for the Spartans at least the key early on. And we welcome you here on Summit City Sports. Jaron Matheny, glad you are with us tonight. We'll be all over the place once again tomorrow night for high school football. We'll get in that, into that a little bit more as we continue throughout the night. Lauren Peters set to serve. As Carroll leads by six in the first set. Laying on the first look. Jack Way back set, Lubia right there and couldn't be dug out. Nice work from Turk to try and get there. The kill belongs to the Spartans. Lubia off the kill on a jump serve. Handcuffed on the initial touch, Shippy taps over. Tyndall. Off the blockers and back to Homestead. Jackway sets back for Tyndall. Soft look to Turk Skies. Gislin out wide. Sinish again. Lubia digs. Tyndall tap. Good rally. Gislin for Shippy. Point Chargers. 14 to 8. Carroll Addy Shippy. Her second kill. Carroll rolling here in the opening set, at least early on. Brenna Ginder, jump serve just over the tape. Really strong serve. Jackway tried to go behind her head. Missed the opportunity. Point Carroll, 15 to eight. Chargers on top. You heard in the pregame, Kate Jackway got a couple of boos. That's because she's a former Carroll student going to Homestead now. Service ace for Ginder, 16 to eight. Carroll. And four aces in the opening set now for the Chargers. Just makes such a big difference when you're serving on your home floor. And it's one of those things that you don't think about a lot with the backdrop when it's the same. Have that consistency. Jack Way for Tyndall. Ginder reaches out. Great play. De Turk free ball over. Spartans attack. Jack Way for Tyndall. Rocket skied again by Ginder. Carroll fans love it. And the runner doesn't quite make it over from Lauren Peters. Homestead point, but Ginder with a couple of great digs that time around. Jackway down the line at Sinish. Ginder will go right back to her. Inside the antenna and in point. Carroll, Sinish five kills already. Averaging four and a half per set. Gislin jump serve. Jackway back setting right side. Tyndall down the line. Again, there's Ginder to pop it up. Sinish cross court. Mailer with a swing. Blocked back. Point Chargers. And Chloe Hershberger going to get mobbed here from her teammates. Here on the Traction AP replay, see the swing from Mailer and Hirschberger was in on the block. 18 to nine, Carroll. Near side, Mailer soft tap. Hirschberger block back. Tyndall was there with Mailer. Hirschberger gets another go, puts it in. 19 to nine, Carroll in the first set. And 
Coach Holtzclaw probably thinking about a timeout here. Gislin serves. Back row Brown, first touch at it into the middle, and Ava Tyndall's attack doesn't make it over. 20 to 9, and here comes a timeout for the Spartans. It's all Carroll here in the opening set from the field house on senior night. Chargers lead set one. While most know the swing block can get you four inches higher than static blocking, most people don't know that there's a huge negative to swing blocking, and that's the reason that a lot of times your school coaches won't teach you swing blocking or they'll stop you from swing blocking. And that's the drifting. So too many times hitters hit by us because we continue to drift by and aren't in front of them. So we gotta make sure to stop drifting that we really focus on the outside leg coming around and getting in front of us to stop our forward momentum and change it to vertical momentum so we can rotate and press back over and disrupt our hitter. And that's this week's Empower Tip. For more tips like these, visit empoweredgrowthacademy.org. 20 to nine, Carroll leading Homestead here on the opening set from the Fieldhouse in Carroll High School. Jaron Matheny, glad to be with you for Summit City Sports tonight. Opening set in favor of the Chargers in a big way here on senior night. Service ace for Gislin out of the timeout. Fifth of the first set for Carroll. 21 to nine and Homestead will be looking for some answers set to on. Back row at Sipe, Jackway back setting for Tyndall. Soft look, came right back to her. Mailer takes a harder swing and finds that back row. It's a much needed point there for Homestead and just trying to build some momentum now. You know, you've more than likely fallen out of this opening set just with the distance separating the two, but we're a long way from the match being determined. Tyndall serves at Ginder in the back row. Gislin on the run, sets left, and Hirschberger missed wide. Back-to-back -back points for Homestead. Back within 10. Again, really good crowd on hand. Both Carroll and Homestead student sections here. Slide opportunity, hits that back line. Lola Sassy with her first kill. 22-11. Bailey Sinish to serve. Carroll with the point. Doubled up on Homestead in the first set. Jackway back setting for Mailer. Snuck it inside against Stiegel. Now Stiegel, the freshman, takes the swing and brings it home. Point Chargers. 23 to 11. Carroll. Making a statement early here at home. Sinish, good line drive at Brown. Jackway down the middle for Mailer. Ricochets around. Gislin back for Hirschberger on the back line. Set point in the first. Upcoming for Carroll. Sinish serving. Trying to take the opening set. Jackway, back row, Tyndall. Blockers were there for Carroll. Point Chargers. And a first set win for Carroll here at home on senior night. Exactly what the Chargers were looking for in the opening set. 25, 20, 25, 11. Carroll prevails in set one. Set two action is coming up after the break right here on Summit City Sports.
Anderson Heating and Air, locally owned and operated with over 50 years of experience. Call us today and get a free quote on a brand new furnace and AC, financed and available. Don't wait. Call us today and sign up for our maintenance agreement and stay cool. Our maintenance agreements will ensure that you're first in line if you have an emergency and we'll send one of our service techs out for cleanings twice a year. Call us at 557-0958 or request an appointment on our website. Call Anderson Heating and Air, where your emergency is our emergency. Thank you for watching Summit City Sports. To help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account. We produce weekly highlights and live video broadcast. When the Homestead Girls Golf Team won its first state title in program history, we were there. When Fort Wayne brought back three state titles in cross country, we were there. We believe in sharing positive stories and setting the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today. Area sports looked a lot different back in 1952 when Jim Kelly opened his first dealership in Fort Wayne. 70 years later, that original dealership has grown into the Kelly Automotive Group with 14 brands in three locations, including our new Fort Wayne Auto Mall and Kelly Chevrolet on Lima Road. Fort Wayne continues to support our local teams and businesses. Thank you for 70 years. We could have never done it without you. Visit us today at drivekelly.com. Serving the key difference in set number one, Carroll with five aces in the opening set. Chargers take set one, 25 to 11 over Homestead here on Summit City Sports. Jaron Matheny, glad you are with us tonight. Let's take a look at some unofficial numbers through the opening set. Five kills for Bailey Sinish leads the way on both sides of the net. Sarah Stiegel, Addie Shippey, each with a pair of kills along with Chloe Hirschberger for Carroll. On the other side, Isabel Lubia and Addie Tyndall with two kills apiece. And Homestead just looking for some more production potentially at the service line. They didn't have an ace or an air in that first set. Uh, and in serve received, looking to be a little bit better, certainly. And then can you get Addie, the, Addie Tyndall the ball anymore on the attack? Carroll feeling comfortable here on their home floor after the first set of play. That sets up set two. Chargers dropped the first set on Monday night against the Cadets of Concordia, and they have not dropped a set since. One, two, three, and four against the Cadets, and then swept Blackhawk Christian. Now won seven consecutive sets after taking the first here tonight against Homestead. Spartans dropping their first set of the week after 3-0 wins over both Southside and Northrop. Ball is thrown into play. Homestead serves to begin set two. Hannah Brown back at the service line for the Spartans. We're off and running in our second set. Gislin, Sinish worked in set one. Why not go back there to begin the second? Sinish has her sixth kill. Just everything you're looking for if you're Carroll. Sinish on the reception and then get it right back to her. Ginder jump serve at sight. Jackway back set Mailer down the line and re-altered by Ginder on the dig. Spartans, Tyndall into the back row. Ginder again skies it. Sinish just in front of the three meter line. Now Lubia soft tap, tipped around. Sinish hits over. And the long rally continues. Sly, that one went off the antenna. Point for Homestead. One to one. Let's take a look back though at the Traction AP replay. And here's Bailey Sinish doing what she does best. Isabel Lubia jump serve and nearly a service ace to Turk. Tracks it down for a free ball. Jackway plants Mailer down the line. Point Spartans. Mailer second kill. And Homestead has the response to begin set two. Lubia serve. It's a nice spin on that ball. Sinish plants it off the blockers and out. 
Seven kills for Bailey Sinish. And we're tied up at two in the second. Gislin checks the bench. Look for that zone. Coach with a clipboard, usually hiding it from the other side, will give the signal. Mailer swing. And Carroll made a mistake up front there. Mailer's got another kill. Homestead three, Carroll two. Mailer a couple of kills in the second set serves. Overpass delivered by Tyndall. Big time bomb from Addie Tyndall and a huge point for Homestead, four to two Spartans. I'll look back at that one after this. Ginder setting out wide, Sinish too far. Five to two, Homestead. Let's take a look back at the Addy Tyndall big time kill here on the Traction AP replay. Overpass and delivered with some authority from Tyndall. Jump serve is in. Ginder on the back row. Gislin wide and in on the point. Hirschberger in response. Stop the Spartan run. Now five to three. Peters to the bench. Stegall's into the front row. Sinish. Nearly an ace and it will be Point Carroll. Back to back points for the Chargers. And early in set one, we saw sort of the same thing. The first 10 points, it was six to four, Carroll, and then the Chargers pulled away late. That was off the tape. Jackway, back to Tyndall, off the blockers, down the line, point, Homestead. Six to four, Spartans. Tyndall starting to warm up. That's her second kill of this set. One nothing match advantage for Carroll. Ginder, good angle for Gislin. Back set right side, cross court dug out by Land. Near side swing, got the top of the blocker to slow it down. Back row, Sinish didn't make it over. Attack air point, Homestead. Seven to four in set two. Tyndall serves cross court. Ginder long run for Gislin. Stiegel though erases the long run for the setter with a big time kill. She's got three, seven to five. Carroll trying to charge back in the second. Hayden Finfrock, Stiegel a freshman, talked about that. Sinish a sophomore. This is just a young Carroll group that's already doing a lot of winning as that serve goes wide. Point for Homestead, there's a service error, just number two for the Chargers tonight. Did a nice job taking care of the volleyball. Sipe serves, back row, Ginder, Gislin out wide, Stiegel, back to Carroll. In the middle, Shippy, and now Spartans attack. Back row, Tyndall, block back. Point Carroll, and up front, Shippy, Stiegel, and Gislin help get the rejection. Chloe Hirschberger to try and bring it back within a point. Jackway on the slide, Lubia blocked there, Stiegel this time, eight to seven, Chargers within a point. And nice work from Carroll. They've scrambled well here tonight on the home floor. And not flinching as Homestead leads early in the second set. Jack Way, another slide for Lubia, another block for Stiegel, and then pop back up. Coach Sinish was looking for double contacts. 
point given to Carroll, and now they're going to reverse that call and see if the antenna was hit. And we could have a redo for all I'm concerned here. Carroll was insistent on a double contact, and then the swing may have grazed the antenna. Olivia Gislin was making the conversation about that double contact. And the conversation continues. Right now, I believe this is going to be a homestead point just based off the initial discussion here. And there it is, point Spartans. So that swing for Carroll grazed the antenna, and that's what ultimately leads to the homestead point. Kate Jackway. Serve is in. A little bit of trouble for Turk. Stiegel eyes it off the tape. And the joust opportunity at the net, won by Homestead. Coach Sinish freaking out, and Spartans make contact with the net or came over the top. Either way, Carroll gets the point, and we're a little bit back and forth here at the field house. Nine to eight, Homestead in set two. Tyndall keeps this in, Jackway for Ava to make that. Mailer, point Spartans. Mailer's got her fourth kill. Homestead back up by two. Again, really comfortable first set for the Chargers, 25-11. Homestead a whole lot more difficult here in set two. Overpass, Tyndall delivers again. She's got five kills now. 11 to eight, Homestead. Cross court serve, it's Sinish, Gislin. Go right back to her. Cross court, Sight digs it out. Mailer, huge swing, point Homestead. Mailer's got five kills. Tyndall with five, Spartans responding in the second set. Brown jump serve over at Ginder. Back set. Shippy slide, doesn't go. Tyndall dropped down the line to Turk in the air. Ginder calls it out. Sinish, soft look. Mailer, we got double contact against Homestead. Now 12 to nine. We've seen Lily Mummert at times this year from Homestead in that setting role alongside Jackway. It's been only number eight tonight for the Spartans. And service ace. Carroll right back within two. Ginder's second of the night. And Ginder 48 now on the season. She leads Carroll. Make it 49. Chargers back to within one. And Brenna Ginder on senior night having a great night at the service line here for Carroll. Eight aces as a team. Tyndall first look. Jackway back for Tyndall near side. She goes cross court, hits the line. Spartans get the point. Thirteen, eleven, Homestead. I just feel it's one of those back and forth sets where if the Spartans can't get this one, it could be big time trouble. Sinish blockers were there, down the middle and unable to get it over for Sassy. Point Spartans, Homestead fourteen, Carroll eleven, in set two.
Good line drive serve from Lubia. Gislin just throws it over on that second touch, and then Tyndall does the same thing, but we've got a point first for Carroll. Saw the head referee tap his chest. I think we had the error come before that attack even went over. Gislin serves. Jackway down the middle. Tyndall tapped off. Saw the court well. Chargers scramble for a free ball, though. Great work. Jackway in the middle. Tyndall delivers. Are you kidding me? Just drops an absolute hammer on the other side. 15 to 12. Naylor serves on in the middle. Good swing from Hirschberger. Tyndall, though, trying to erase. She just missed the net. The line, though, 15-13. Let's go back, though, to the previous kill. Good scramble here on the Traction AP replay on the first attempt. The free ball from Ginder made it back over, but then it was Tyndall with a hammer. And hammer time for Homestead. Spartans by two in the second. Eliana Rogers on for the first time. Jackway at the net, has to hit it back over for Tyndall, and then Rogers off a back foot. Couldn't quite haul it in. 16-13. We are rocking and rolling here at the Fieldhouse tonight. Gislin setting, Stiegel blocked back initially. Joust opportunity, back to Carroll. Ginder having to set back row, Sinish. Point, Chargers, how about that? Sinish has been a little bit quiet here in the middle of our second set. Comes alive for a big kill there for Carroll, 16-14. Chargers on senior night. Boy, would they love to hand a loss to Homestead here tonight of all nights. Jackway, yeah, miscommunication from the Spartans. Point Carroll, both teams still with both of their timeouts remaining here in set two. We've been back and forth. Chargers really haven't been able to gain that lead though in set two. They're looking to right now with Finfrock serving. Spartans have had the response, looking for it here. Ava Tyndall too far and we are tied in set two, 16 off. Finfrock to try and give Carroll the lead. Tyndall, Tyndall, into the back row. Down the middle, Shippy has it, point Carroll. Chargers take the lead in the second set. Homestead wants a timeout. We'll take the break with them. Back here to the field house after this. Chargers on top, one to nothing. Short drive up I-69, Ball Sports Academy in Angola has become one of the top volleyball training facilities in the Midwest. Under the direction of four-time Olympian and 2008 Olympic gold medalist, Loy Ball. Ball Sports Academy is the home of Team Pineapple Volleyball Club, which has become known as one of the top clubs in the tri-state area. Being trained by the most experienced and elite coaching staff in the area has repeatedly shown that choosing to play for Team Pineapple will prepare you to accomplish your goals in volleyball. With multiple program offerings for players ranging from five years old to those ready to leave for college, boys programming, and even a professional men's team BSA has something to offer for everyone looking to improve their game. For more information, visit TeamPineapple.com or call 260-624-2210. Spartans have control the majority of set two, but it's Carroll out in front, 17-16. Here in our second set, Finfrock, and Carroll's serve out of the Homestead timeout. Jackway on the long run, sets up Brown down the line. Good response for Homestead. 
out of the Coach Holt squad timeout. Hannah Brown's first kill by her unofficial tally tonight. 17-17, set two. And 25-11 first set for Carroll. Nice serve from Sight down the middle. Shippy block back. Homestead regains the lead in the second. And Madeline Sight will try and keep that pressure on for the Spartan. She's got 32 aces on the year. Gislin for Hirschberger. Joust opportunity, and then Shippy couldn't get it back over. 19-17, 3-0 run for Homestead. And that'll force a Carroll timeout. So out of the Homestead timeout, Spartans respond with three consecutive points. Now the Chargers will look to do the same in our second set. 19-17, Homestead trying to even this match up at one. Once again at the field house says Stiegel is blocked and a huge rejection for Lubia. Helps Homestead go in front by three. 4-0 run for the Spartans. Sipe serves. Gislin back setting back row. Sinish soft tap over. Jackway for Brown. She's blocked back. There's Shippy. So Addie Shippey sends Chloe Hirschberger to the service line. Spartans up by two on Carroll. Again, just feels like it's one of those sets. If Homestead's going to win tonight, they need this one. Jackway for Brown. Gislin was there on the block. Tyndall attacks over. Gislin, good spot to set. She goes out wide. Stiegel off the top of the blockers. Jackway for Brown, side to side, but rejected. Gislin alongside Shippy. Carroll trails by just one. Another strong serve for the Chargers. Jackway tried to set it over on two. Now into the middle, Lubia outstretched arms. They'll go for Shippy, who's been huge out of the timeout for Carroll. Chargers now on a 3-0 run. We're tied at 20. Awfully reminiscent all of a sudden of that second set in August. Hirschberger in a Tyndall. Come back for Brown. Off the tape and out. Chargers regain the lead, 21 to 20. Coach Holt squad does have a timeout. Doesn't look like she wants to use it quite yet. Jackway, back set, slide for Lubia. Had to run to get there, though. Ginder for Stiegel. Blocked back, Sinus sprawls out. Soft tap is in for Hirschberger. Chargers lead by two. Coach Holtzclaw hanging on to that timeout. Hirschberger serves in, Jackway, and double contact point Carroll. And now we'll get the timeout here from Homestead. Coach Holtzclaw still seems to be upset about something from a previous point. It is a timeout for the Spartans. Let's take a look at the big time block up front from Shippey 
alongside Gislin that kind of swung momentum back in Carroll's favor here in set two. That made it 20 to 19. And you saw Brenna Ginder say there, let's go. And the Chargers have done just that since that 5-0 run here for Carroll at home against Homestead. And looking for two more points to win set two and take, in my opinion, what would feel like a pretty commanding lead. And I know 2-0, a very commanding lead. Yes, I understand that with three sets to go. But just the way the set two has gone, it's felt like Sparty's been in control pretty much all the way up until this point. And Carroll got the fight back in them to make it 18-17, and then Homestead responded with three in a row, and, and they haven't scored since. 5-0 run for Carroll. All coming with Chloe Hirschberger at the service line. She serves once again for the Chargers. Homestead out of timeouts. Carroll does have one. Tyndall, Jackway, good place to set. Brown, soft tap, Homestead responds. You knew they would. Brown, second kill unofficially, 23-21. Now Kate Jackway. She's got 33 aces of her own this year. That's tied for second. Jackway, cross-court serve it to Turk. Nearly tapped down by Luby on the overpass, and now a free ball from Sinish. Jackway, down the middle, Mailer clears out. It will not be a kill for Homestead. It's gonna be a net violation against Carroll. Either way, it was gonna be a point for the Spartans. As Carroll wants to take a timeout and talk things over, it's been a long second set. Both sides know how important these next couple of points are. We'll come back to Charger Fieldhouse right after this. Did you know that on average, swing blocking gets you four inches higher than static blocking? So in today's tip, we're gonna work on swing blocking. So to start with, everyone pretty much starts out in the same base position, nice and loaded. Sometimes middles, we like to have you empowered a little higher with your hands just to help out with the one ball. But together, everyone pretty much starts the same base position. Now a middle will take one extra step compared to pins just because they gotta open up to close that gap. Then together, we're gonna go crossover arms back, step through, swing, rotate and We're back quickly out of the timeout once again. 23 to 22, Carroll in front. No timeouts remaining from either side as Gislin sets back row. Sinish with the drop shot, falls in. And now the Chargers have arrived at set point in the second. Trying to make it two to nothing for Carroll. Peters serves a little bit long. Sight backs up to get it. Lubia free ball. Carroll looking to go up two nothing. Gislin for Sinish. There it is. Point Chargers and Carroll has a two to nothing lead in this rivalry match against Homestead. Chargers come from behind in set two. Bailey Sinish with another kill. Wraps up our second set. Carroll out in front, two sets to none. Trying for a sweep on senior night against their bitter rival. Did you know that on average, swing blocking gets you four inches higher than static blocking? So in today's tip, we're gonna work on swing blocking. So to start with, everyone pretty much starts out in the same base position, nice and loaded. Sometimes middles, we like to have you empowered a little higher with your hands just to help out with the one ball. But together, everyone pretty much starts the same base position. Now a middle will take one extra step compared to pins just because they gotta open up to close that gap. Then together, we're gonna go crossover arms back, step through, swing, rotate, and press. So in full speed, it'll look just like this. Up. And that is Swing Blocking 101. For more tips like these, visit empoweredgrowthacademy.org. Some Homestead fans may be prematurely headed for the exits here tonight at the Fieldhouse in Carroll High School. Chargers are in front two sets to none 
over Homestead, but two of the top teams in the area on this rivalry that's so good. I'm not sure I'd be leaving the building quite yet. Carol wins set two, 25 to 22 after taking the first set 25 to 21. While we have a moment, let's thank some of our great sponsors who make tonight's and every night's broadcast possible here on Summit City Sports. Big Eyed Fish has been around the Northeast Indiana area for generations. Like their Facebook pages for updated promotions, enjoy the best fish in Fort Wayne in a family-friendly environment at Big Eyed Fish. Kelly Automotive celebrating their 70th year in business. Shop all 14 of their brands at kellydrive.com. Tom Steele Tire has been surfacing the Fort Wayne area for over 40 years. They'll help you find the perfect tire for your vehicle and other auto repair services like brakes, wheel alignments, engine diagnostics, and more. At Ottweller Contracting, we invest in our customers by providing peace of mind during the entire process. From bid to build, visit OttenwellerContracting.com. Summit Volleyball trains and builds the highest quality volleyball players in the area. From ages 5 to 18, our players are equipped with elite level skills and a foundation of life skills. Jump on board. Together, we can reach the summit. Anderson Heating and Air Conditioning is dedicated to providing the best possible solution for your home or business, a system and solution that fits your unique needs. Visit AndersonCoolHeat.com. Are you ready to do what it takes to put your past behind you? Whether it's expunging your criminal record or helping to get your driver's license reinstated, Jolly Law Firm is your answer. So we get set for our third set. Carroll two, Homestead nothing. Good back and forth in set two as the Chargers are trying to get revenge for a loss back on August 19th in tournament style play at Penn. It was a best of three win for Homestead, two to one over Carroll at a neutral site. Chargers look to win this one. Got a tournament this weekend for Carroll, which will include Angola, Lake Central. Chargers still have Leo and Angola on the road to round out the season. Homestead schedule, Woodland, not an easy win by any means. We'll have to travel to Woodburn as well. And then Perry Meridian in one final tournament next Saturday, the 7th for Homestead. And then, like I said, we'll have sectional drawings this Sunday. We'll know next week who's playing who come October 10th in the opening round of sectional play. But for now, we got to determine a winner here tonight between Carroll and Homestead. 2-0 match lead for the Chargers. Third set off and running. Jack Way for Tyndall, soft drop and right on that line, point Homestead and Tyndall's got the kill to start our third set. Isabel Lubia, got a couple of nice serves early on. She's got one there and an ace for the roadside. Lubia serves ace point Homestead, two to nothing Spartans to begin the third. Nice spin on that serve from Lubia. Gislin down the middle, Shippy just snuck it inside the blockers for the point. Five kills by our unofficial tally up here for Shippy. Sinish already at double digits. Brenna Ginder, three service aces here tonight. Overpass for Sinish, drops it through. Chargers get the point. And Ginder from the service line continues to cause problems on the other side for Homestead. Back row, Brown handcuffed her. Still got it to a free ball, though, for Homestead. Sinish against the blockers, dug out. Long run. Sinish, another swing. This almost dropped in. Sipe digs it out. Tyndall swing. Sinish extends. Back row, Finfrock off a hand and down. Hayden Finfrock, just her second kill of the season. Point Carroll. 
sophomore Finn Frock picks up the kill. Three to two, Carroll. Long run on the back pedal for Jackway down the middle. Tyndall. Ava Tyndall nearly got it. Good scramble from Carroll. And it ends up in a homestead point. Wow, Spartans two, three, really good looks there. Now three to three in the third. Mailer serves right down the middle. Came over, Jackway attacks and Carroll ran into the net. 4-3, Homestead with the lead in set three. Mailer on that serve, has an ace. Five to three, Spartans in the third set, trying to come back in this match, trailing two to nothing. And it's been back and forth for the most part. I mean, even through the first 20 points of the first set, we were pretty tight. And Carroll able to pull away. Set two, Homestead led the majority of the way. Big kill for Bailey Sinish. Stops the Spartan run. I feel like that's just, you can put that on repeat. Big kill for Bailey Sinish, and it'd be right the majority of the time. Addie Tyndall on the other side for the Spartans. <laughs> Say the same thing. Five to four, Homestead in the third. Gislin on the lob serve. Comes back over. Sinish has another. A star here in the 2-6-0 and just a sophomore, number four for Carroll. Five to five, set three, and we've got a sub coming. Hannah Brown out, and Riley Kidd. Now in the back row for the Spartans. Kate Land also back there with Madeline Sipe on the serve from Gislin. And an ace. Chargers grab the lead. Ninth ace of the night for Carroll. Six five. Down the line at Kid Jack Way for Tyndall. Soft tap. Good scramble by Sinish, but Tyndall ends up with a point. Homestead six. Carroll six. Third set. Two nothing match lead. And time called. There's a wet spot on the floor. Third set continues as Gislin into the middle. Good extension from Sipe. Somehow got it over and inside the antenna, Sinish plants it in the back row. Oh, Madeline Sipe extension here saves this play for a moment for Homestead. We'll take a look at it after this point. Sinish unofficially up to 14 kills. Back row, Sipe, first look at it. Jackway for Tyndall. Gislin high into the air. Soft two-hand push over, drops in for Bailey Sinish. Let's go back to the previous point. Look at the white jersey on the homestead side of the net. Madeline Sipe extension to keep that ball alive and over. But then it's Sinish who delivers the final blow for Carroll. Eight to six. Clean up another wet spot here on the floor. And now they're ready for play as Sinish serves in. Down the middle and Ava Tyndall kept her balance on the attack. That's in and a kill for Sassy. Nine to six. 
Carroll leads. Sinus serves into the net. Have that down, it's just the third time tonight Carroll's picked up a service error. Down nine to seven. Continuing in the third set, Gislin left, Stiegel and in. And Carroll playing on the lines on both sides of the floor. Stiegel picks up the kill, 10 to seven Chargers. And Homestead in need of a run right now. Lauren Peters down the middle, jump serve at Tyndall. Jackway gets it for Brown. Soft tap, Stiegel extends out, keeps it up. Rolled over by Hirschberger. Spartans looking for a good opportunity. Brown punched, and this will end up in a point for Homestead. A couple of flailing right arms for Carroll trying to keep that ball up Spartans point 10 to 8 Kate Land came out and they want to redo that substitution Mailer in the front row Jackway at Ginder Gislin Sets Hirschberger, doesn't drop. Brown takes the swing cross court. Stiegel, soft action, good scramble, free ball. Slide for Shippey, blocked back there. Good long rally between these two rivals. Sipe with the dig. Brown, soft touch, Gislin's there, Ginder setting. Not sure that ball ever made it over. It doesn't matter, ends up in a homestead point. Ten to nine, Chargers. Set three, and it's one of those things where you just don't want to let your rival hang around and send this to a fourth because then a fourth could become a fifth and you never know when you get to five sets. In the middle, Stiegel. Sipe back over, but too strong. 11-9, Carroll. Chloe Hirschberger. Stingel, Shippey, and Gislin on the front line. Jackway setting for Brown, goes cross court. Hirschberger's there, Gislin over on two. Mailer off the arm of Shippey and down. Homestead trails by just one. To Turk into the back row. Mailer up to seven kills, again unofficially. Gislin sets, Shippey blocked. Spartans trying to keep this thing rolling now with back-to-back -back points. Mailer in on that block for Homestead. Stiegel got a touch on the way out, and that's why Sipe hit it and tried to poke it up. Let's go back, though, to the block here on the Traction AP replay. Up, up front for the Spartans, Mailer. And Lubia. Carol, though, stops that 2 0 Homestead run. Hayden Finfrock had just one kill coming into match play tonight. She picked up <laughs> one here this evening. And you could tell the excitement when it happened. Jackway, Mailer down the line at Ginder. Lubia takes advantage of a ball that comes right back over the net off that touch from Ginder. 12 to 12, Lubia kill her third. Serve in, long run here for Gislin towards her own bench. Skies it for Sinish. And then Sinish hits over on his second attempt. Tyndall across court at Ginder. Finfrock in the air. Sinish 
Keeps it inside the line, 13 to 12, Chargers. Twenty-five eleven in the first, kind of the anomaly for this match. 25-22 in the second, now here in the third, within a point, 25 in. Off the tape, Ginder nearly at her fourth ace of the night. Finfrock touch comes back over. Jackway for Mailer, it's good. 13s in set three. Coach Sinish going over some of that positioning for Carroll. And the stance is, get another pause to wipe up some sweat. Mailer line drive on the serve. Gislin back out for Sinish and missed that line. Point Homestead and the head official calling this one in favor of the Spartans. Backline judge had it in. The one on the opposite side had it out. Mailer serving and an ace for Homestead. Spartans third by our tally, 15-13. And again, it's one of those things for Carroll here that you would really love to get out of here in three tonight, knowing that if you let Homestead hang around, we could be going to a fifth quickly. Ginder out wide, Sinish cross court. Joust won by Carroll. Back to a one point disadvantage for the home side. Hershberger's in for the Turk. Senior getting the start tonight on senior night. All three seniors for Carroll in that starting rotation this evening. One of them, Olivia Gislin, serves there. Jackway running on the set. Good opportunity for Carroll. Hershberger off a back foot. Land to it. Tyndall goes down the net line. Ginder has to run over. Back row, Finfrock. She'll get back into position as Tyndall takes the swing. Ricochets off a hand and true point, Homestead. Sixteen fourteen. Tyndall serves over the tape. Gislin on a slide down the line and got a touch there. That one was on the way out. Sipin kind of no man's land, didn't have much of a decision to make. That ball's coming at you so quickly and it's so easy for us to stand back and say, oh, shouldn't have touched that one. But when you're in that spot and your arm's right there and everything else, Homestead still leading by one. Sinish. Long run for Jackway and now a free ball coming from Brown. Carroll trying to tie it. Stiegel, missile is true. 16s in the third. Both teams with both their timeouts remaining as well. Saw that late in set two come into play. Just over the tape on the serve from Sinish again. Miscommunication, ace. Ten of them tonight for Carroll will force a timeout for Homestead. Spartans trying to keep in this third set and stay in the match. Now 17 to 16. Continue thanking our great sponsors here on Summit City Sports. They support high school athletics, so make sure you go and support them. Sioka Cleaning and Restoration, providing top-notch commercial cleaning services, including janitorial, water damage, and state-of-the-art disinfecting services throughout Northeast Indiana. Online degree programs at the University of St. Francis are built for convenience and flexibility. Most degrees can be completed in 12 months. Visit online.sf.edu. 
specialists in design, build, mechanical, and refrigeration. TJWIndustrial.com. That's TJWIndustrial.com. And earn your edge this season. Parkview Sports Medicine's Edge Training Program maximizes your athleticism through personalized performance training to reach your goals and get you to the next level. Visit ParkviewSportsMedicine.com slash edge to schedule your free consultation. Chargers leading third set up two nothing in the match out of the homestead timeout Tyndall set up well there by Sparty Tyndall kill she's into double digits 17s in set three and Homestead just nice little set play out of the timeout Madeline Sipe trying to put the Put the Spartans back in front. Gislin, back row, Hershberger hit that line. Rather sassy on the kill. Carroll back on top by one. I believe the Chargers host their sectional. Jump serve from Peters, ricochets around, free ball. Good job by Homestead just to get that ball over. Slide, Shippy blocked back. Stiegel on the opposite end, little runner is good. 19-17. I should say DeKalb hosting the Carroll sectional. Homestead will host theirs. Land on the first touch, Lubia down the middle. Kicked off the arm and out, but a point for Homestead. Spartan still not going away. Yeah, Sparty, Columbia City, Southside, Wayne, Huntington North and New Haven. For Carroll, it's DeKalb, East Noble, Northside, Northrop, and Snyder. Nearly an ace. Ginder, two-hand shove. Lubia backed up to it. Jackway out wide for Brown. Awkward angle and still the point. Hannah Brown, third kill, 19s. And that will result in a Carroll timeout. We'll take the pause. Coming back here to the field house right after this on Summit City Sports as it's Carroll tied up with Homestead at 19 here in our third set. Welcome to the Summit City, home to the 260s dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference. 5-8. Uh, a lot of uh, Nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. So 2 nothing match lead for Carroll, but it's 19 all in the third set. Homestead trying to force a fourth on the road tonight. Serve is too far from Jackway. Out of the Carroll timeout, Chargers regain the lead. Again, you must win by two to take any set. So we've gone back and forth here in the third. Hershberger serves it, Sipe, long run for Jackway. Tapped over by Brown, should set up Carroll nicely. Shippy in the middle. Contact with an at point Carroll, 21-19 Chargers. Timeout remains for Homestead, one for Carroll as well. Tyndall first look, Jackway down the middle, Lubia, that's popped up in the high in the sky from Hershberger. Down the net line, what a hit from Stiegel. 22-19. Incredible. Just along the tape. And that will cause a timeout on the other side for Homestead. So the Spartans...
may be down to their final wits end here tonight. Three in a row for Carroll out of the timeout. Homestead looks to respond after this. Watching Summit City Sports. To help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account. We produce weekly highlights and live video broadcast. When the Homestead Girls Golf Team won its first state title in program history, we were there. When Fort Wayne brought back three state titles in cross country, we were there. We believe in sharing positive stories and setting the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today. 2-0 in the match. Carroll leads Homestead 22-19. Third set. Chargers looking for a sweep at home on senior night. And there it could be. Ace number 11 for Carroll. 23-19. Chloe Hirschberger trying to put the Chargers on her back late. She's done just that. 4-0 run. Tyndall got up on her chest, opposite side, Brown, too far, no touch, match point here in the third. As Carroll looks for win 21. Hirschberger, long run, free ball coming back to Carroll, could this be it? Gislin setting, Stiegel punched over. Jackway, back row, Tyndall, Ginder skies it. Gislin for Stiegel. Freshman couldn't quite put it away. Seniors trying to connect, there's Shippy. Homestead keeps the rally alive. Lubia sends it down and in. Spartans alive for now. Anna Brown, Homestead needs the next four. Gislin, Stiegel, got a touch on the way out. Point Carroll, match Carroll. Chargers win in straight sets over Homestead tonight. On senior night, Carroll improving to 21 and five on the season. Homestead drops to 19 and seven on the year. Really good back and forth in sets two and three, but the Chargers at home on senior night take care of business with a sweep of their rival Homestead. And now the Charger faithful will hope they can have this sort of magic tomorrow night on the football field against Homestead. Our Parkview Sports Medicine player of the match is sophomore Bailey Sinish, who finishes with 15 kills by our unofficial tally. Sinish in the middle of what everything Carroll has done offensively all season long. And the Chargers win. Now 21 and five on the year as Carroll with a straight set sweep over Homestead tonight. We will talk to you tomorrow night for more high school football. We'll have Indiana Tech hockey and volleyball available as well on the Indiana Tech YouTube page. So don't miss out on that. Carroll in straight sets over Homestead tonight here at home to cap off senior night.